Okay, we'll warm up from here. So hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. We want to keep a wrapping upward and inward of the belly button as we start to move the spine, okay? And that way we can make sure that the low back doesn't just absorb all this movement that we're about to, <laughs> that we're about to do. So elbows slightly squeeze inward, then pull your heart forward between your arms. You can think of inhaling while you do this to expand your chest. And as you exhale, push the floor away. Feel free to drop your head, shake it out. And let's take a few more rounds like this, extending the spine and then flexing the spine. Okay, so feel the muscles in the back body working on the extension and the muscles in the front of your body working on the flexion. And then let's make this a little more um, balanced by rolling sideways into it, getting the side body flexed and extended a few times. I like to think of jump roping the spine all the way around. Make sure you go both ways a couple times. And let's bring it back to our hands and knees. Let's get the right leg and stick it straight out behind. Okay, press extra weight into that right hand and reach forward with the left hand. So long and strong. Your back body is lifting up and your front body is pushing down. Okay, somewhere in there we have a strong core and a long spine. So long inhale here as you reach out. Exhaling here, pull that right knee in, left elbow in. Okay, long spine, you can reach out, reach up top. Exhale, pull it in. So use your breath to your advantage here. Expand as you inhale upward. Exhale as you close it all up. Okay, beginning to feel some warmth building on that front body when we pull it in like a little crunch and the back body when we lift it up. Next time you come in, pull the knee and the elbow in. Let's hold here, hold and breathe. Push the floor down. If you want to play around with a funky little balance here, try bending your left knee and pointing your left toes up at the ceiling. Okay, it's fun to balance and engage the core in different ways. And let that go. Come down to hands and knees. And let's do the other side. Left leg out behind. Internally rotating that hip. Point the toes down. Lift that belly button. We have extra weight in the left hand. And we can reach forward with the right. So long and strong, please. Back body lifts, front body pushes down. Strong spine, okay? Let's start to move. Inhaling, you're long up top. Exhaling, you pull it in. Use that breath to your advantage. Keep breathing, reach. And pull it in. Keep it going. Feel front body, back body warming. Shoulders, hips. This one, next time you pull it in, let's hold right here. Hold and breathe. Push that floor. Maybe play around by bending that right knee and pointing the right toes up. It's a funky little balance. And let it go. Okay, I want to take a moment to open up our wrists here and just make sure they're warmed up because I do want to use uh, your hands a lot today. So flip the uh, hands over so fingers point at you and the palm is facing up and we'll roll around on that a few times. You can put more or less weight depending on what feels good. Okay. Then let's flip it around, palm down, fingers pointed at your toes, and you can peel it up and down a few times. Okay, and then maybe give me a good shake. All right, let's keep going, friends. I'll have us in a plank variation now, so you can find long plank shape, okay? Remember, if your shoulders are over your wrist, it's a plank. You can still drop your knees here and make that line between your knees and the top of your head 
nice and long and strong. So even if you have your knees up or down, same difference. I want you to wrap your belly button into your spine, push the floor away from you, and remember to breathe. If it's possible, could we send the heart up a little higher to the ceiling and push back through the heels? Now I want you to hold your plank nice and strong as you step your right foot out to the right and back to center. Left foot out to the left, back to center. Again on the right, back to center. On the left, back to center. Let's do this 10 times, either side, right? And left. Now you can drop to your knees and do this. Four, and left. Here's number five. Control, pull that belly button in, push the floor. Here's six. Number seven. You can put one knee down, maybe. Here's number eight. We're so close. Stick with me. Number nine. Number ten. Nice. Let that go. Come down to your knees, okay? And down to your elbows here, all the way down to your belly. So I want to stretch us out nice and long. And get the back body a little warmer. So we just got your, your chest and your core, your front body. Lift up off the mat here. Lift up off the ground. So if you need a little break, you can always drop your hands and just do your legs. But I'd like us to make a big shape here, reaching long, long, long. And then sweeping your arms and legs out to the side. Back long in the center. Sweep it out to the side. Use your breath here. Three. And sweep it out. Use that strong back. Four. Sweep. Five. Six. Okay, keep the shoulders strong. Keep the hips heavy. Seven. Number eight. We're so close. Number nine. Here's ten. Hold and breathe. So your arms and legs are nice and wide, like you're making a kind of a flying, skydiving kind of shape. Okay, press the hips down a little heavier. Shoot out through your toes and lift your heels a little higher. Lift that heart in front and lift your thumbs a little higher behind you. And then move your heart a little farther away from your toes. One more big breath here. Ah, let it go. Let's come to an elbow plank now. So remember, your shoulders are over your elbows and you may have your knees on the floor. Trying to cultivate a long line between your knees and the top of your head, okay? Or knees might be up off the floor and the long line would be between your heels and the top of your head. But I wanna move us around and kind of twist a little bit here. So breathe with me, hang out with me here. We're reaching up with the right hand. You can think of taking a big breath in while you do this. I just don't want you to hold your breath. And when you exhale, you can think of coming down. Other side, reaching up on the left, big breath in. Bring it down. Let the arms work, let the core work, let the back work. Side. Okay, you can do this on your knees. And I'm showing you what that would, might look like. To side. Keep it going. Here's four. Mm, control it, and four. Here's number five. Number five. Keep going. Okay, push that floor away. If you want a little extra challenge for these last few rounds, lift the top leg when you reach the arm up. So arm comes up, top leg comes up. And you can do that with a knee on the floor as well. Okay, a couple more on each side. Okay, last one on each side. You know that there's gonna be a hold, right? So come on up to your plank, your side plank. Hold and breathe. If you got the top leg up, awesome. Keep breathing. Okay, strengthen your legs. Point your tailbone at your feet. Maybe lift the top hip a little higher. 
One more breath. And switch sides. Hold it right here. In your side plank. Maybe lift the top leg. Point your tailbone at your toes. Maybe push the floor away. One more big breath here. And let it go. Come on down, all the way down to your belly again. Okay, getting pretty warm. Let's finish warming up with one more back extension just to get the back body nice and warm. So start out nice and long on the floor here. And we'll swim a little bit. Let's go swimming. So ground it to your hip points and hover up off the floor. Remember, you can put your hands down and just do your legs at any time. So I want you to swim here. Think right arm and left leg up above the others and then bring them down, but you're still hovering. Left arm, right leg, bring them down. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Keep it going, side to side. That's right, keep swimming. Nice and slow. Notice your neck stays long, and it never disappears into your shoulders like a turtleneck. It's more of a giraffe neck. Keep it going. You're halfway there. Notice the back body, left and right, working fluidly. Shoulders getting tired, maybe. You got this. Just a few more on each side. Two more on each side. You got it. Okay, next time you come up, hold and breathe. Keep one arm and leg higher than the others. Reach out longer through all your hands and feet. Let that fire build, let that heat build. Switch sides, hold and breathe. Reach longer through all the fingers and toes. One more big breath here. And let it go. <laughs> all right, nice work in your back and upper body. Let's come up to hands and knees and then up to standing. And the way I like to do that, just to be sure I don't get any kind of head rush, especially if you've got low blood pressure, is to come up on your feet, bend your knees, and use your knees to support your upper body as you press up. Okay, that way we avoid that, that head rush. So let's lunge it out a little bit. I'd like to get our legs a little bit more warm. Okay, and we'll start standing in the center of your space. So you can think of stepping your right leg back, finding a lunge. Remember to keep the front knee relatively over your ankle, please. And then step that right leg forward and find another lunge in front. Okay, right leg back. <laughs> right leg forward. Excellent work. Try to keep your upper body very balanced over your hips, even though it's challenging. Forward. You can put your arms up if you want to work your shoulders a little bit more. Or on your hips. It's up to you. Halfway there. Let the legs warm. Three more. Two more. Let that back knee hover just off the floor. Last one, hold. We're gonna tap the right knee to the floor. Okay, the right knee is the back knee now. We're tapping two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it just off the floor for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, send that right foot forward, drop it into your lunge, back knee, the left knee taps the floor, 10, nine, eight, seven, whew, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and we'll hold it, hover it there, 10, hover, eight, hover, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Wow, my legs are warm. Let's do the other side. So at the center of your space, the left leg will be the moving leg now. The right leg will be the stable leg. So the left leg will come back to a lunge, hover the floor, hover the knee off the floor. The left leg will come forward into a lunge. 
This time the right knee hovers. Left leg back. The legs are noodly, guys. That's okay. Keep it going. Back and forward. Okay, the right knee, the right leg is doing a lot of work. So is the left. Okay, lunges are great for opening up front and backs of the legs, balancing all the hip tissues, not to mention some core strength as we keep that upper body upright. A few more in either direction. Two more. Forward and back. Next one, forward. I'll meet you when the left leg is back. Hold here. Tap the left knee to the ground. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold and hover. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, whoo, three, two, and one. Swing the left leg forward. Find a lunge with the left leg in front. Right knee tops down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold and hover. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come up and out. That was a nice challenge for the legs. My legs are warm, and I hope yours are too. So I want to challenge us to move around a little bit. Now that we're super warm, we can do anything, okay? So let's get some speed skaters in. Think of a little side-to-side -side movement. So I like to do this with my arms up. We'll take the right leg, cross the midline behind you, like a little curtsy, and top the floor with your right hand. Switch sides. Left leg behind, curtsy. Top the floor with your left hand. Switch and top, okay? Keep going. You can put some fun arm movements in there. But I want you to keep your upper body as upright as you can, even though it's challenging. Halfway there. Drop that knee. Drop the hips. Three more. Two more. Last one on either side. Back to center. All right, do you guys want to do a little kickboxing? I think the hips and the legs are nice and warm. So facing out to the right, okay? Get your fierce, your fierce vibes, your fierce fighter vibes going. Looking out to the right very intentionally. Punch out through the right shoulder. Okay, left arm will cross. Your upper body twists as you punch to the right. And then another punch from the right shoulder. At this point, I want you to lean your upper body to the left and give a nice kick Pow, out to the right. It can be a little kick. Pow. It's up to you. Let's do that 10 times. Right, left, right, and go. Get a nice kick. Again, right, left, right, right kick. Again. Find a little rhythm. Make this your own. Do put some spice in it, okay? Want, want some spice? Use your upper body's weight to balance out your leg's weight when you come up into that kick. Halfway there. Right, left, right, kick. Three more, right, left, right, kick. Two more, right, left, right, pal. One more, right, left, Right, kick. All right, let that go. Shake it up. Let's do another set of speed skaters just to get the joints even warmer, okay? Ready? Crossing one leg behind, top the floor, switch sides. Pow. Keep the heart up, let the hips go down. Three, use the legs. Three, get that knee low. And four. Five, and five, six, six, seven, seven, keep it up, eight, eight, we want the muscles warm, nine, and nine, 
nine. Last one, 10 and 10. Okay, get your fierce thighs back. Okay, centered, find your center, find that center of gravity behind your belly button. And now left hand punches out from the shoulder. Right arm crosses, twist at your upper body, another left punch, pow. Lean your upper body to the right, left kick. It can be a little kick, pow, okay? Let's do it, left, right, pow, left, and kick, pow, 10 times, left, right, left, and kick. Get fierce, left, right, left, kick, four, kick, five, kick, six, seven, almost there, eight, kick, nine, Last one, pow. pow. I like to do sound effects. All right, friends, I hope you're feeling good. We're gonna get a little bit more into our upper body. We just did some good low body work. Let's switch it up a little bit. So find the back of your space, bend your knees, and use your knees to support your upper body as you come back down to the floor. So start on hands and knees. Get your elbows underneath your shoulders, just like you're coming into an elbow plank. And then walk onto your feet back there. Tiptoe your feet close to your elbow. So however close you want to get. And they probably won't get that close, right? But just tiptoe your feet as close as you want. So you're in what we like to call a dolphin pose in yoga class, okay? But secret is that dolphin pose is actually a great strengthener for your shoulders. And we're gonna take advantage of that by getting that right leg up and up behind and then pulling the right knee into your chest. So you can think of inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee in. Let's do it 10 times back. And pull it in. How are your shoulders doing back? Pull it in. Here's number five. Bring it in. Number six. Pull it in. Seven. Bring it in. Eight. Bring it in. We're holding the last one. Nine. Pull that knee in. Last one. Ten. Pull the knee in and hold. Okay? You don't have a lot of movement available in your shoulders, do you? So think about pulling your nose towards your knee. Nice challenge. One more big breath here. And let's let that go. Okay, you can come back up on your hands. And I'd like to do another plank variation with you. So here, find your plank. I told you we we're gonna focus on upper body today. Okay, we're gonna use our chest a little bit more here than we have been. So remember, knees are available. You can always drop those knees, but I want you to have a nice pushing feeling against the floor. And then you're just gonna pull your elbows in halfway and put them on your ribs. Your knees might be useful to do that, okay? And then you'll press the floor away, back up to a plank. Ready? 10 times, down. Remember to breathe, and up. I find it helpful to inhale down, and exhale on the effort when I push back up. You find something that works for you. Here's four. Here's five. Number six. Number seven. Nice work, keep it going. Here's eight. Number nine. Last one, number 10. Hold, halfway down, hold and breathe. Squeeze the elbows in. Breathe, <laughs> maybe drop your knees for three, two, and one. Let that go. Whew. It might feel good to kind of sit your hips back on your heels here. Ah, take a break. Feel your shoulders. Okay, I know how excited you are to get back to that dolphin posture, so let's get back into it and get the shoulders working some more. So back down on your elbows, please. Make sure that they're about the same width as your shoulders and not a whole lot more. And you can have your palms down, 
facing each other together, it's really up to you, okay? But find an elbow plank, and then walk your feet a little closer to your elbows. Now, you might decide at any time to drop your knees, okay? And that would be a perfectly lovely place to move from. So use your knees anytime. Are you ready? Left leg up and out behind. Use your breath in when the leg is up. Exhale when the leg comes in. Again, 10 times. Inhale. Pull it in. Three times. Four. Keep those shoulders strong. Here's five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. We're holding number ten, okay? Here's number ten. Pull the knee in. Hold and breathe. Pull the knee a little closer. Maybe move your forehead toward the knee. Push that floor. One more breath. Nice. Let that go. Okay. We'll get back into arms just a little bit longer here. Are you ready? Okay, this time we'll make a little triangle shape from our hands. And I'm showing you the general shape that we'll make. Okay? And then put it on the mat under your face. So we're really targeting triceps here, and I bet you'll feel the difference tomorrow. So let's do this. So you can start out in any kind of plank that suits you the best. Remember, your plank mostly means that your shoulders are over your wrists, your belly button is strong, and your body is as long as you can make it. Here we go, friends. Your goal is to put your nose as close to the triangle as possible, but key phrase, without losing control. So if you can only go part of the way down without losing control, just go part of the way down. Just keep in control. That's the most important thing here. Are you ready? Let's do this 10 times, okay? Nose comes down. Push the floor away. Nose comes down. Push the floor away. Two. Come down. I'd say exhale as you come up, as you push. Nose comes down. And four. Great challenge. Nose comes down. Five. Keep it going. Six. Bring it down. Seven. Bring it down. Eight. We're so close. Come down. Nine. Come down. Hold here. Yes, you can. Stick with it. Pull the belly button in. Maybe drop your knees. Three, two, and one. Whew. Go ahead and drop your knees. Put your hips on your heels. Drop your head. Take some big breaths into your shoulders. All right, from here, friends, I'd like us to flip over and have a seat. So come on up. Have a seat. Your knees will point up from here. And I'd like to take us into a little boat pose. A little more core strength, back strength, hip flexor strength. So we'll start out with feet on the floor, hands behind. And one of our priorities is to have a really long spine. Okay, so let that be one of your focuses. As you wrap your belly button into your spine, your tailbone also points at your knees. So you feel a little bit tucked in your tailbone. If all is going well, you can take your hands to your knees on the backs of your knees there and lean back almost to the point that you start to fall back so that you feel your abdominals engage, okay? You feel that your abdominals are holding you up. So keep that engagement. Maybe point one toe at the front of the mat. Maybe point the other toes at the front of the mat. And if you can, turn to look to the left. Look over one shoulder. Come back to center. Turn to look to the right. Look over your right shoulder. Back to center. You see we're twisting to the left. Back to center and to the right. Back to center. Keep going. If your hands are free, tap them on the floor on the side that you're looking at. Bring them through center. Tap the other side. 
Okay. For a little more challenge, extend your legs. You're halfway there. Exhale to the side. Inhale through center. Here's eight. Here's nine. You can always put your feet down, by the way, or lean back on your hands. The last one, hold. You're looking out to one side. Pause right there. Feel free to drop your hands or feet. If everything's going great, open your arms wide, extend your legs, and look at your back hand. Remember to breathe. <laughs> Pull the belly button in, lengthen your spine up. Switch sides, other side. Reach up to the side, hold. Maybe open your arms wide, lift your spine tall. The legs are shaking, that's okay. One more breath. Ah, oh, let that go. Come on down to your back. If you tuck your hands behind your knees, you can just roll it back. Feels so nice to lay down. Take your hands to your knees. Your knees are just about over your hips, and you can bend your knees at right angles. And then if it's all right with your neck and shoulders, peel your head and shoulders off the mat. Make sure your neck is still long, though, so your chin isn't necessarily jammed into your chest. There's a little bit of space there. I want you to start to push your hands into your knees and push your knees into your hands at the same time. Hands push knees, knees push hands. We'll hold like this for 30 seconds. You can do this. Notice your abdominals engaging. Where can you relax, okay? Only the minimum amount of work is necessary here. Just the hands push the knees and knees push the hands. You're getting close to the end of this experience in five, four, three, two, and one. Come on down. Relax that effort. All right. We just really worked your front body and your abdominals, your core. Let's take it to the back body a little bit. Drop your feet. Hands are down beside you. And then lift your hips up like you're moving into a bridge. All right, friends. So here, first of all, this is a really nice stretch across the hips and the abs, isn't it? So enjoy that. Let's make sure we have some spaciousness between the chin and the chest. In other words, we want to keep the neck arching softly off the floor. We don't want it to touch the floor. Put a little engagement between your knees here, like you're holding an imaginary tennis ball. Feel that engagement travel up in in your core, a little bit of engagement uh, shows up in there too. So check it out. Imagine that you're still holding that ball between your knees, so you're still engaging inward with your legs. Okay, and we're gonna reach one leg out. So put that left heel out on the floor, very far away from you, still trying to draw the knees together, and do the same with the right, step the right heel out. Notice the back of the body is still floating off the floor. Step the right tippy toe in really close to you. So tippy toe right, tippy toe left. Heel right, heel left. Okay, tippy toe, tippy toe. You get the idea, heel, heel. The back body never comes down. Toe and toe. The legs are working, heel, heel. The glutes are working, the hamstrings, the back, the shoulders, toe. More than halfway, heel, heel, toe, and toe. <laughs> Keep it up, heel, heel, toe, and toe. Again, heel, and heel, toe, and toe. Okay, this time, come out heel, heel, and hold. Let's hold, heel, heel. Breathe here. Lift your back body up off the floor. Mm, find your glutes engaged, your hamstrings engaged. Whole back body is lit up. Three, two, and one. Let that go. <sighs> all right, get all your legs up in the air here. All two of them. Let's circle the ankles out. Okay, I'd like to get a little bit twisty with you again. This time we'll be laying down for a twist. But there's also a lot of core work involved. And you're also going to be using your upper body. So a total body movement is always our best bet when we want to do total body strength. 
So arms out wide like wings, and you're really flattening your shoulder blades against the floor. You can bend your knees, you can extend them, it's up to you, but I do want you to glue them together, please, and try to keep them close as you begin to move. So make sure your shoulder blades are staying grounded as you drop your legs over to the left, as if you would move your toes towards your left fingertips. Notice the right shoulder blade needs to stay on the floor, so you might need to limit your range of motion. We'll bring the legs to center, and we'll drop the toes toward the right fingertips. So core control, the left shoulder blade stays down. To center, to the side. Okay, you can think of exhaling as you drop the legs to the side, inhaling to pull them through center. Exhale to the side, inhale to center. Keep it going, okay? We're really looking to build core control here, control, control, control. Also some back strength, some shoulder strength, leg strength. Keep it going. If you have a small space like I do, you might have to fold your knees up at some points. Okay, still good work, just bend those knees. Same idea. Mm. more on each side. Okay, twists are great for kind of recalibrating and uh, balancing all the tissues of the back and the torso and the spinal column and the core. Next time your legs fall out to one side, go ahead and bend your knees if they're not already bent and let them fall, just whatever side, it doesn't matter. The closed hand might grab a knee. Look away at the far away hand. Take some big breath here. Big breath into the chest, hips and shoulders, low back. And then we'll bring the legs up through center. Drop your bent knees to the other side and let's hang out here. The close hand might grab a knee. Look away at the far hand and ground that shoulder blade. All right, we're bringing the legs back through center. And from here, if you tuck your hands behind your knees and rock it up, then I'd like us to stretch our legs out because we did some really good work in the legs today. So uh, point your knees to one side and we'll flip it back to hands and knees. And if we get that right foot forward by the right hand, maybe we scooch the left knee back a little bit. And we'll rock the hips forward and back. Put a really nice flex in that right foot and the right ankle so the right toes point at your nose. Okay, you get that nice calf stretch. And if you want a little bit more from this, you can tuck the left toes and lift the left knee. And that gives you more space to pull your right hip back and open up that hamstring. All right, settle down into that lunge. And before we come up and open up the uh, left hip flexor and that right hamstring, I'd like to get a little bit into the left quad. So if you can bend that left knee, go ahead and bend the left knee, point the toes up, and maybe the right hand can grab the left foot. If it doesn't grab, not a problem. Just hang out here and think about maybe reaching. Okay, that's good work in itself. If you got that foot, pull it towards your glute. Oh, so good in your left quad, okay? Take a few breaths here. Sometimes it feels nice to kind of roll around on the, the top edge of the kneecap. It's a nice little massage. And then we'll come on up. So let that left leg go. We'll use this right uh, knee to press up. So draw your knees toward each other like you're trying to snap them together. Okay, allowing your hips to sink nice and low. Great opening for that right hamstring, the left hip flexor. If you want more from this, especially from that left hip flexor, right hand on your right hip, 
the left arm comes up, and you can reach that left hand over to the right. Maybe for the final cherry on top, you put the right fingertips on the floor and reach the left hand even further over to the right. Remember to keep your belly button pulling in and your legs pulling together. Great stretch across the whole left side. I hope you're feeling that. Okay. Bring all the hands down and we'll just switch sides, bringing it back to hands and knees. Left foot steps toward the left hand. And let's move the right knee back a little bit and rock the hips back and forth. So when you pull back, you feel that left hamstring lengthening, don't you? Okay, that's what we're looking for. So feel free to spend a little extra time flexing that left foot, pointing the toes at your nose, maybe deepening that opening available by lifting that right knee. Pull the hips way back, press and forward. A couple more times like this. We definitely use the legs a lot today in those lunges, so this is hopefully feeling really good. Okay, come back into your lunge here, and we'll enjoy it a little bit by opening up this right quadricep, quadriceps, so the front of the right leg. So if you can bend the right knee and point the right toe up, hang out there, maybe that left hand comes behind for the right foot, and you can pull it in towards your glute. And I like to roll around on the top of the right kneecap here. Just kind of a subtle but kind of amazing release for the, the whole front of the right thigh. And then let that go. Let's get the right side hip flexor and low back one more time. So use that left leg to come up, okay? Attempt to draw your knees toward each other, allowing the hips to sink. Okay, you feel the right hip flexor letting go. Maybe you want a little more. You put left hand on left hip, right arm up, and over to the left. Okay, breathe here into that whole right side body. You want more, you can drop the left fingertips on the floor to the left and reach that right arm way over. So keep the legs strong here. Don't let them be super passive yet. Big breath. Big stretch. It's so important that we stretch after working like this, okay? Oh, let that go. All hands down in front. Make it back to hands and knees. And congratulate yourself. You did it. Thank you so much for joining me.